Hi everybody, this is Sona. Um, if you're new to me, definitely hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell notification so you'll know when I'm doing new videos. Um, today I want to talk to you about abundance. And basically abundance is a state of mind. It, it really is. It determines what path you take. Um, and I posted something on Facebook and I'm going to read it to you. You have the you abundance is a state of mind and life in the state of mind determines your path you take, which I just said. You have to raise your financial consciousness and open yourself and your life to abundance. Here is how to get started. Become aware of your financial story. It may be integrated into your identity, so entrenched in your personal history that you don't even realize that you're repeating it. The first step is to ask yourself what you believe about money. How hard do you believe it's so it is too it is so hard to come by and what you have to do to get it you deserve it. I want to I want to stop there. Guys, I used to be with in fight or flight mode about money and I could manifest it and then I'll get into a tight spot and then I start stressing over money. And you have to continue to be in the flow. You have to not worry because you never know what the universe is going to send your way. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes the universe sends challenges to give you a stage to learn from it so you can continue to move on and continue to be in the flow. Um, does your money story tell you that it's hard for you to have abundance? Most of us don't really believe in abundance of possibilities to actually exist. And guys, I want to know, I want to talk about today's times. A lot of people were used to making money and the money just went away because of this economy and the pandemic. And, and if you knew that money was coming, it, regardless of a pandemic or not, you wouldn't be worried about the money. Um, when you really want something really, really bad, you will find a way to get the money, bottom line. Um, once you get familiar with the stories you have been telling yourself about wealth and abundance, you can start opening yourself to new stories that serve, pos serve you positively. If it sounds like you, start adopting an expansive state of mind instead of either worrying or accumulating more stuff in an attempt to avoid the truth. One of the key factors in attracting abundance is really doing the tricky inner work. Yeah, it starts with you to change your beliefs of an old money story. You have to believe that you already have what you need. Abundance is something that exists inside of you. You have to access to it at all times. The way you focus your energy around money is what needs to, what needs to change. When you know you're not equating your self-worth with the amount of money you have, but rather the way you choose to live your life, you make significant shift in your life. And guys, I tell you, during this pandemic, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I've had a hit, but you know what? Uh, we're comfortable and we've always had what we needed, <laughs> hands down. Um, remember, abundance is a state of mind. That means the way you approach everything you do comes within the positive framework. Abundant people prioritize their lives. Abundant people know what creating their financial balance allows for the secu a, for, ugh, a secure future. If you hide from your bills and avoid thinking about what you owe, recognize that behavior. And guys, I don't lie. I used to hide from my bills. I used to throw that shit away and say, forget about it. Um, but not anymore. I have my bills organized and I look at my account and I start paying. I mean, just this week, I just paid over a thousand in bills. That's not even rent. That's just bills. And then I paid over five thousand in business bills. Um. So I, I just say, hey, let me face it. You know what? I have it. Let me pay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you live frugally out of sense of fear, or do you overspend in effort to feel more generous and abundant? Man, I used to be so cheap. It was ridiculous. I used to be cheap. I used to buy cheap shit. The shit would fall apart. And you know what? I learned this from my son. You know what, mom? What you buy in is an investment, especially for yourself. And he really talked about shoes. 
And he says, Mom, you got to take care of your feet and you got to buy quality and stop being cheap. And so now when I buy, buy quality or I say, hey, I want these things, I they come to me easily. Now it's the time to get real about your individual money story. How did you grow up thinking about money? How did your parents talk about money? I tell you. I, I grew up with my narcissistic mom, my biological mom, and she was always saying, well, with me, I have no money. I have no money. But it's funny that she can seem to do things for herself and, and not for a kid. I can tell you this. She can go to a dentist every month and get dental work, but I had I had never saw a dentist not once since I was a kid. And my first time of going to the dentist was 25 years old. Optometrist, 18 years old. But she can do a lot for herself, but she couldn't do nothing for me as a kid. So, so now, you know, it's like I have to please myself. So notice how you tend to talk about money with others and jot down the kinds of words you use write down any observations you make about the actions you've taken with money or the things you've thought or not thought or thought about literally anything at all that comes to mind is an, an important indication of your inner money story do this for a week and be very honest with yourself at the end of the week, assess your first list and see what needs to shift in terms of your internal beliefs. Guys, I'm giving you some coaching here today, and it's for free. Understand that nothing can change until you do something differently. Vibrationally, you can only attract something different when you shift your frequency to a higher level. There can be no other way. When you take on the inner work of understanding your own behavior with money, you free yourself from living a small financial life. You open up yourself to possibilities that you become intentional with your wealth and your vibration around finances and you start to see changes. Finally, I wanna leave you with this question. If you're provided for every single way that you need it, what will you choose to do with your money? Your answer will clarify and illuminate the, and lights you up inside. So guys, if money was not a factor, what would you do with it? What would, you, what would you do? Think on that. And I'm going to close with that. Again, I'm Sona. If you're new to me, definitely hit the subscribe. Ugh, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell notification. Leave a comment below. I will definitely respond to you. And I will see you soon.